Good morning, guys. Today, it's just me. I am trying out solo van life. I dropped Jake off at the Phoenix airport yesterday, and then I headed north back to Sedona because we used to live here for a couple months. So I, I'm very comfortable here. I think everything should go smoothly. Um, but this morning I woke up for a beautiful sunrise. I'm just going on a little hike around Courthouse Butte and Bell Rock, and just gonna take you guys along on my solo van life journey. So let's go. dialing in my inner Jake. I tried to find some complete solitude away from everyone and I did it and I just climbed some <laughs> mountains and now I'm like how do I get back down? So we'll see. First task on solo female van life, checked off. Saw a really great sunrise. Sadly, the colors were definitely at like 4.55 and I woke up at 4.50, so I wasn't here for the colors, but it was still really nice and like the weather is already amazing. I love being warm. <laughs> Jake hates it, but it's gonna be like 88 or something today and I'm gonna thrive. I think I'm gonna head to the coffee shop that I used to work at called Fire Creek. They have bomb breakfast sandwiches and really good coffee. So I'm gonna go check that out and get a little breakfast and get a little bit of work done. was a huge disappointment. <laughs> I definitely went in there for a breakfast sandwich and as soon as I got in there I asked them and they are no longer like serving those breakfast sandwiches. The coffee was good but I have coffee here so I'm a little bummed <laughs> that I went in there but I had a little bit of wi-fi so I got some work done but I guess I gotta make breakfast myself. Yeah, that's real good. So we just went into town, did a little bit of shopping because Jake doesn't really enjoy shopping that much. Uh, got this fun little shirt. by Keep Nature Wild, which we follow on Instagram. They pick up a pound of trash every purchase made, so I felt pretty good about that one. Um, but I'm gonna make some lunch quick and probably find a campsite again for the night. All right, on today's menu, we got some pasta salad. We got this amazing looking quesadilla. And I'm just gonna catch up on Kara and Nate. <clears throat> Not so bad. What I'm now realizing with waking up so early is now I just have like so many more hours in the day to A, get more things done, but I'm a little bored without my best friend with me. So now what to do? So 
So I just peeked out the window and this sunset is popping off. So let's go check it out. <laughs> The next few days were much more laid back. I had a slow start just about every morning getting some work done and enjoying the nice weather outdoors. And while I can definitely say I enjoyed my personal space on my solo van life journey, I couldn't help from feeling a little lonely in the afternoons. I've never really lived alone my whole life, so having many hours to self-reflect, I actually think I'm less of an introvert than I might have thought. to get a little exercise this morning. I haven't done much <laughs> besides a light yoga slash stretching. So I'm trying to do a big loop, I think like four or five miles. Today is the last day. I pick up Jake from the airport. I'm so excited to have my partner back. I can believe I did solo van life, but I definitely miss my partner and I'm excited to, you know, just have someone to laugh and tell jokes and just have someone, have someone back in my life. But first, let's get the van ready. I've come to realize that I am way dirtier than Jake. So I have some cleaning up to do. Thanks for coming along on my solo van life journey. I personally did enjoy my time alone, but after about four days, I was pretty ready to have Jake back with me especially for the driving. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.